Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and last night Google updated its Hangouts app for iOS and finally it's been fully optimized for iPad, it's been fully optimized for iOS 7, so let's take a look. Um, I've updated it on the iPad but I've kept the old version on my iPhone just so we can see uh, the differences. Now, if we get started here, um, it will ask me to sign in, which is great. And when I say great, I actually mean irritating. So here is the brand new app on the iPad. Now, like I've said, it's been fully optimized for iPad. Now, what you'll also notice is that it's also been fully optimized for iOS 7. So there's been a few tweaks here and there. So if I wanted to send a message, uh, I can tap obviously in the message part here and what you'll get is a keyboard on the bottom now unlike the old version you'll notice that it has the brand new iOS 7 keyboard so if I open up Hangouts on here for instance and I'll find out that it's actually <laughs> while I was making this video it's decided to automatically update itself so I can't show you the differences between the new one and the old one that worked well so let's just take a look at this on the iPad instead. Now what you'll notice, obviously you've got the iOS 7 keyboard, it's got full screen, um, and instead of taking up the whole screen, you've kind of got your list of conversations on the left-hand side here, and your actual conversation that you've selected on the right. Um, if I want to get rid of the keyboard, I can. If I want to swipe across, if I swipe left, it makes a video call and I can cancel that. Now what you'll notice there is that actually it came with video in video uh, picture so you'll see all the thumbnails in the bottom in circles. Cancelled the call because I hadn't arranged with those guys that I was going to call them. Um, but apart from that it doesn't look like you can make the thread or the conversation full screen but you can also you can change your hangout name, you can favorite it, you can invite other people um, and you can add people and the layout has been changed what you can also do is, if you hit the attachment part here, go into the smiley stickers. You've got fully animated stickers. So I can just say something like, I'm just testing the animations. Let's go with this depressed, sweaty blob here. And I'll sweat, send that and you'll see, I now have an animated little animation in there. A sticker, it's quite cool. It's entertaining. It makes it a lot more kind of lighthearted. But I do like the way that you now have a list along the left and the conversation on the right. That's making much better use of the iPad screen. What's also great about the new app is, as you can see here, when you turn it into landscape mode, it makes so much better use of the space than it did before. Um, the conversation takes up a bigger part of the screen near the right hand side here, but you've also got a quick access button to start a video call, which is fantastic. Um, so with the previous version, obviously because it was mostly designed for the iPhone, it worked really well in portrait mode, but in landscape it didn't really make the best use of the space. Now what you can also do in the new version is you can actually send a map of your current location. So I can hit OK, my current location is here, and it sends a map of my current location. What I can also do is I can send video messages. If I attach a video message, so you tap and hold, you tap to take a photo, or you can tap and hold to make a video. And you can see me on the screen there. Hey guys, Cam here just testing out the video recording function in the new Hangouts app. Please ignore this. And you let go and it's recorded. You can then see that it plays itself back just so you can test it. And then I hit send when I'm happy and that sends as well. So there's all the new features, the new layout. Um, it is a much nicer looking app and honestly for messaging I do prefer Hangouts to anything else as long as obviously the other people are on Google which a lot of people tend to be these days so it's a great way to keep in touch, really well laid out, lots of nice little features and easy to navigate as well. This update is available now if you've already got the app check the App Store for updates if it hasn't already done so. Uh, if you haven't tried it yet, please uh, go to the link below. I'll leave one in the description box. It's a free download, obviously, with it being a Google service. And it's a great way to stay in touch with people. It's fantastic for video calling, for messaging, chatting. Uh, it really is a great all-in-one app. 
I've been Cam. If you want to ask me any questions about this, I'm at TIP underscore Cam on Twitter. And as always, I will see you again soon.